All right, third graders, today you're going to be creating a loom for your tree weaving. And a loom is the thing that you weave on. So we need to string our looms. And our looms look like landscapes. And we talked about creating space with color to make our landscape. So you should see dark, medium, and light. So at the drive through what you're going to need to grab is a length of brown yarn. That's going to be your tree branches. A piece of tape that is no longer than your finger length. It doesn't need to be very long. And at your tables, you're going to find a tracer. This is my tree tracer. Do you notice how with Sharpie, it has kind of a little sketch of our landscape done? Just a small version. I'm going to line that sketch of the landscape up with the landscape on my plate that I've painted. So I kind of have to look and line them up. And I'm going to go through and make a mark at each of the notches going around. Okay, so there's two down at the bottom. There's one at the side going all the way around. Try to hold your plate steady so that this isn't going to move. This is like your tracing template so that you have the right or the correct number of notches. When I take that off, I'm going to go through and I'm going to cut with the scissors at each of those notches. So I should have two at the bottom and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten going up through the top of the sky. Okay? When I have each of those notches cut, I'm ready to start stringing my loom. So this brown yarn is really long. Okay? We need all of it though, so don't cut any off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have one side, the left side, for yarn coming in and the right side for yarn coming out. So I'm going to start on the right side. I'm going to thread my loom with just a little tail on the back and that's where my tape comes in. Just use a little bit of masking tape to tape that down to the back. Okay, tape it really good because you're not going to want that to slip out. All right, yarn going out to the first slice on the right. When I thread a loom, a lot of times I go behind this tooth and I come down to go in the inside, around the back, and out on the left side. Going up to the second or the third tooth, through the tooth, around the back, kind of like flossing, in one side, out the other, up to the next slot, behind the tooth, in one slot, out the other. Now, if I pull really hard on this, make it really, really tight, this little tooth is gonna to start to fold up. So you want it, your loom to be quite snug, but you don't want it to be so tight that your teeth are gonna fold over. So over to the next slot, behind the tooth, in one side, out the other, behind the slot, in the tooth, in one side, out the other. Now I have this long strand here. This is going to make my bark, okay, or my tree trunk. I'm going to kind of gather these up in the middle, and that's where if I went too tight, my tooth is going to flip up, okay? So I'm going around the back of the tooth and underneath this whole um, weaving of yarn to start wrapping up my tree trunk, okay? So I'm kind of holding the tooth down. So it gets trained to stay flat, going underneath the strands and around the top, just wrapping this up. Now your bark could be as long or your tree trunk could be as long as you would like, okay? Keeping in mind that the tighter it gets, the more of that tooth is gonna wanna flip up. So you probably can't do too much bark or tree trunk. Okay. Once I've done enough, I'm going to go to one of these um, branches that are coming out from the tree trunk, and I'm going to tie a knot. Here we go. Make an U, make an O, tail goes through the O, and tie it tight. I always do a double knot, so I make an O, tail goes through the O, tie a knot. I can trim that close. Okay. My loom is set up. I'm ready to start weaving.